The homicide investigation into Stephen Smith's 2015 death, receiving fresh law enforcement resources and bringing renewed hope to his family. I've been wanting this for the last eight years and now it's happening. The South Carolina Law Enforcement Division says progress has been made. The chief assigning additional agents to work this case in the hopes that those who may know what happened to Mr. Smith are more willing to speak freely now than they may have been in 2015 or 2021. According to police reports, 19-year-old Stephen Smith was found dead on a rural road, his shoes still on his feet. A short distance away, his abandoned car, the gas cap unscrewed, his wallet inside. At the time, the on-scene supervisor telling a detective it appeared to be a homicide. But the medical examiner ruled it a hit and run, a determination later challenged by investigators. There's no marks from a vehicle, no uh, skid marks in the roadway, nothing in the grass. Police recordings also show the Murdoch family name came up multiple times in interviews from 2015, including with Stephen's mother. The rumors just going around Hanson that everybody keeps coming up to me and saying it was Murdoch boys. The Murdoch boys? Yes, whoever they are. Other individuals also mentioned the name Murdoch during taped interviews. And who was that? Buster Murdoch. Okay. Um, and, I, and I'll be honest with you, Buster Murdoch's been on our radar long before this. Buster Murdoch, the surviving son of convicted killer Alec Murdoch, says he had nothing to do with Smith's death and asks for privacy as he grieves the murders of his mother and brother. In a statement shared with NBC News earlier this week, Buster Murdoch called the rumors he and Stephen had a relationship baseless and denied any involvement with his death, adding, my heart goes out to the Smith family. Buster Murdoch was never interviewed by police about the 2015 case. Now, the attorney for Stephen Smith's mother, Eric Bland, says he plans to petition a judge for the exhumation of Smith's body and get an independent autopsy conducted. He also says the Murdoch name yielded powerful influence and maybe intimidated potential witnesses. He's hoping that now they'll speak more freely about the truth. Craig. All right. Katie Beckforce there in Columbia, South Carolina. Once again, Katie, thank you. Let's bring in NBC's senior legal correspondent, Laura Jarrett. Laura, good morning to you. Hey, good morning, Craig. Eight years after the death of Stephen Smith, how hard is it to put together a murder investigation considering how much time has lapsed? It's difficult, but it's not impossible. We can all think about cold cases that were solved decades after a killing took place. The real issue here is that so much attention has been focused on this case. Yeah. Obviously, there's a Netflix documentary, there's an HBO documentary. It's very hard to control witnesses and their memories after so much time, especially when they've been out there talking about the case so much. Um, you also just have to wonder how much of the evidence was preserved. We don't know enough about that. So is it impossible? No. Is it difficult? Absolutely. We should point out once again that Buster Murdoch has denied any involvement in yeah. the death of Stephen Smith. He was not questioned at the time. Any chance that, that Buster Murdoch gets questioned this time by investigators? Why would he want to have any connection to this at all? If he says he has nothing to do with it, they have no probable cause uh, to believe that he has any involvement. He's completely denied it. Uh, I, I think it's it's really hard. This is all sort of based on rumor and innuendo. And even you can see in Katie's piece, the detectives are saying he's been on our radar. Why? Right. There's just no hard evidence. And without that, you can imagine Buster doesn't have a great relationship with authorities right now. They just managed to get a murder conviction against his dad. And so I don't see any incentive for him to t come in and talk. So that being said, where where does the investigation then go from here? Well, it's interesting. You know, the uh, detectives put out this statement yesterday. And one thing that did catch my eyes, they said progress has been made. What progress? What have they found? Yeah. They're clearly hoping more people are going to come forward and talk. Remains to be seen whether they it's do. It's also interesting to me that, that the evidence that led to this investigation seemingly was uncovered during yeah. the investigation into the double murder. Yeah, uh, we well. just don't know yet what that is. Yeah. Mm. Laura Jarrett, Laura, thanks sure. as always. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.